At no time was Ms. Park's race or gender a factor in the commission's decision. Grand Rapids Mayor today publicly addressing the firing of former city clerk Lori Parks. Her dismissal raised red flags among the city's minority community, some alleging that the termination was racially motivated. Today, George Hartwell appeared before the Grand Rapids Community Relations Commission to address those concerns. And 24-hour news aide Steve Kelso was at that meeting. He joins us now with more. Steve? So the chair of that commission maintains that Park's departure has driven a rift between the city's minority community and city leaders. Lori Park's $95,000 a year employment contract with the city was not renewed in early October. The mayor and the city commission have always maintained that Parks was fired after years of poor performance review. Commissioner James White concluded she simply was in over her head. Today, with city attorney Catherine Mish at his side, the mayor laid out in great detail what he described as extraordinary steps that had been taken to allow Parks to remain employed. At one point, the city hired a private coach to help Parks' performance improve, but eventually they concluded that too little progress was being made. The city offered Parks two options. She could resign and receive six months' salary, or she could take another job at the city that paid close to $80,000 a year. We've never done that for anybody else, uh, any other appointed official, uh, at, at any point that I'm aware of in the history of this city. So um, I, I would like to say first and, and foremost that, this, that the city commission went out of its way to try to ensure that Lori Parks would succeed as the clerk of this city. It was important to us. After the meeting was over, I asked the chair of the commission to help us understand by putting in perspective just how large the perceived rift is. So, in all honesty, to tell you that this, is, this particular issue is something really huge, I, I honestly can't tell you. Uh, we have been approached by several uh, community leaders. Homelich says now the next step is to take back to the people who had made complaints about this the mayor's explanation. He says then they will gauge what their reaction is and decide then how to proceed. At the Live Desk, Steve Kelser, 24-Hour News Aid.